Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Down there in Chile where the solar eclipse took place, there was a magnitude 6.0 earthquake. It was very deep, 114 kilometers in depth, which is about 70 miles in depth, and all earthquakes are measured from sea level. Here you can see the intensity map. There's the earthquake. We got Bolivia, Chile here, uh, the border, and with Argentina. Now on the felt reports on EMSC, about 46, almost 47 miles from where the earthquake occurred, they have report that the earthquake was terrible. Another one um, says very loud and loud. Maybe they meant long and loud. Um, this one said they believed it was a 4.5. Um, another one, first noise and then movement. The noise that they hear is the first wave of the earthquake. That is the P wave. The shaking is the S wave, which goes around the outside edge of the earth, and that causes damage. The first wave that they hear the rumbling, the P wave, now that goes directly through the earth. Another report, he felt strong in Toko, and I'm not going to pronounce these names. Let's see smooth with a lot of noise now that was 232 kilometers from where it occurred so that would be about 142 miles i believe let's see pure noise they heard it they didn't feel it which is unusual felt like a long smooth undulating movement okay we got another one here felt a movement that made me hesitate from the ninth floor, this must be the effect of the eclipse. I agree. Let me show you something. Here is location of that earthquake. The red zone, drawn out in black, was where the eclipse occurred. Uh, complete. They had a complete blackout of the sun. Yeah, my grandson here, so you probably um, hear his noises. But um, the eclipse could be seen over much of South America, and in fact, all the way down to the Antarctic. And USGS says that uh, during the eclipse, because of the gravitational pull of the moon, uh, earthquakes would and could increase by three times. King tides were reported in the San Francisco Bay Area, and there's been other reports of earthquakes uh, since this um, eclipse. Yeah, and usually the effects of the eclipse because of the moon will occur about a week before the solar eclipse, which happened early this morning, and possibly a week after. So just because the eclipse is over doesn't mean we're in the clear for any large earthquakes. Yeah, 6.0. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Uh, please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.